This is a Spanish needle plant. Quick update on how I lure my swarm trap boxes. I use a crock pot here with a piece of window screen to melt my brood wax. Once the wax has melted and I collect it, I take the leftover uh, brood wax, the casings and everything. There's still honey and wax rendered in there and propolis, I'm sure. But I let it dry out and I crumble it into pieces and you'll see you know, it's basically, there's nothing in there. It has been rendered out for the most part. It's mainly just paper cocoons, but there's a little bit of wax, maybe a little honey in there. Um, so what I do is I take these pieces and I put them on the front of my swarm trap boxes, just where the entrance hole is. Let me show you a closer look and um, you can see what I'm talking about. So here's my first swarm lure box. Uh, you'll see this is like a little trellis system I have up over my garden area. But in this box, you'll see in the front. And here is the second swarm trap box. You'll see I have lured. And here is a sweet almond bush that I won at a raffle drawing at the last Beekeepers Association meeting. And the plant smells amazing. So you'll see it's not that tall yet, but it had a really good root system on it, so we'll see how tall it grows. Pretty much all my colonies are active. Gorgeous afternoon here on a Friday. I recently inspected hive number five. That's this colony here in the back row. You'll see an upcoming video here shortly. The top box has medium frameless foundations and it's cross combed with a bunch of honey. So it was bound to happen. Um, that was during the heat of the moment when I just needed equipment. I just threw a box on the top and yeah, they drew it out all right. Uh, but 
I hope to show you that a little closer. 